Good morning, student. Uh, this is limit of accuracy, significant figures, the second video of this series. And uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to talk about significant figures, how to write down and what are the rules of writing them down. You have seen in my previous video, uh, how do we uh, round up one of the number and round down one of the number. Now, we're going to learn how to write down significant figures. First, let me see some of the numbers. How many significants are there? Let's say I'm going to write down 23.7. Okay, I have a point. I have three digits. This is three significant figures. Okay, most of the time we write down sig figs. Okay, sig figs, significant figures, short form of that. So, uh, 23.7, that's three significant figures. All of the digits are significant. If I have a number, let's say, to 0 0.05 if i have uh, zeros in between non zeros digits these zeros are significant so this particular number is four sig figs okay right. now let's do another one if i have 0 0.0029 now these are non zero digits before non-zero digits, whatever the zeros I have, they are non-significant. So this is actually two sig fig. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Uh, uh, most of you probably started to count from point. So it's one, two, three, four, four significant figures, but it's not. Okay, non-zero digits, whatever zeros I have in front of that, they are all non-significant. Okay, let's do the next one, number four. If I have like 7.300. Now, in this particular case, whatever the zero digits I have, they are after point, they are non, uh, they are significant. Okay. So this one is actually my four significant figures. Okay. Now, look at the difference. Okay. I have non uh, zero digits. Before that, all the zeros are non-significant. But if, if I have point, they are non-significant. But over here, after point, after non-zero digits, if I have some zeros, they are significant. Okay, this is a big difference. Okay, these are significant. These are non-significant. Okay. So basically, this is what it is. Now, sometimes the question asks like this, uh, 3,200. 71 maybe okay this is a four digit numeral and the question may ask express that in two significant figures okay so two significant figures so we are going to this is two significant figures and then i'm going to look at the next digit okay if next digit is five or more then i'm going to add one to that and rest of the digit i'm going to put zero okay like uh, i didn't give an example i'm going to give you the, uh, one example right over here so this is um, in two significant figures okay two sig figs it's going to be three three zero zero okay but you have to be careful with one thing this is a four digit numeral one two three so um, three is here then uh, this two becomes three and then uh, if you go to the place value this is ones tens hundreds and thousands okay when it's like that i have only uh, ones tens hundreds and thousands okay i have uh, one digit three in the thousands place one digit three in the hundreds place and tens and zeros place i have empty okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to put zero zero so that's what it is in two significant figures if this one we are asked to write it in three significant figures then we're going to look at this three digits and the very next one that's one that's less than five so we are not going to anything uh, we are not going to add anything three sig figs in three sig figs this gonna this is going to look like three two seven and then this is going to be zero okay so this is our three significant figures most of the time student they just leave it uh, when we say that two significant figures they write it down like this and when it's three significant figures we call we ask to do this they write down two uh, three two seven like that but yeah this is two significant figures but this is uh, three significant figures but it doesn't justify this given number okay because this has four places digits of four uh, places once tens hundred and thousand 
and this has only one sentence this is one tens and hundred okay so these two are way off than our regular number so be careful with that so next one number five i'm just gonna write it over here after that five if we have uh seven eight zero 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 this is actually this all zeros are non-significant so this is two sig fig okay so that's what it is okay i hope you understand that if you have any question uh, leave your question in the comment box i'll get back to you thank you have a good day